Quarterfinals night at Terre Haute South for the Wabash Valley Classic. A pair of teams will punch their tickets to tomorrow's semifinals. Let's check these out, shall we? Westby going Edgewood up first. Second quarter, Vikings trailing, but on the move here looking for a pair. Cody Bunch hits Gabe Newhouse on this bounce pass for a pair of West Vigo points. Midway through the second quarter, check out these moves from Edgewood's Zeke Powell driving through the defense, finishing almost falling down in the process. Mustangs lead by 11. Some great ball movement here by the Vikings, eventually finding Case Lautenslager for two. Vikings would trail by double digits at the half. Third quarter, it's Caden Huttenlocker pulling up from the elbow for Edgewood. Edgewood, count that one. Edgewood beats West Vigo 49 to 36. Your final there. A good one in the nightcap. Park Heritage in Greencastle. Second quarter. Tiger Cubs on the move as Brody Whitaker spins and fires a dart to Nick Sutherland for three. He led Greencastle with 15 points. An ill-advised pass here from Greencastle. How about Anthony Wood chasing this one down in transition for a layup for the Park Heritage Wolves? Down just by one after that. Seconds left in the first half. Down one again. Christian Johnson pulls up from NBA range. Swish at the buzzer. Park Heritage up 25 to 24 at the half. Third quarter, though, Tiger Cubs going a big run. Sutherland's runner is no good. Whitaker cleans it up for two of his 13 points tonight. Christian Johnson doing everything he can to keep his team in it. The and one here. He had a game high 22 points, but Greencastle's surge is just too strong. They win it 63 to 51. Your final, they will play Edgewood tomorrow for a spot in the championship game. Consolation bracket at North Terre Haute South facing Cloverdale. First quarter following a missed three-pointer. It's the Clover senior Mark Gill comes up with the ball, makes the easy two. Cloverdale out in front with an early lead. Later in the first, South looking to get some points back on the board. Amarie Wilson gets the sweet right-handed layup to fall right there. South down just a pair. You saw Wilson score there. Now check out this no-look pass and assist here to his teammate Brayton Turner, who makes the basket. This play would not the game at four. Braves looking to get some deep shots to drop, and that will help Turner again. This time beyond the three-point line as South beats Cloverdale 62-47. to Your final. Final game is North taking on North Central. Matt Gower beats the buzzer to end the third quarter. Quarter. Patriots would lead by four as he says hello. North Central hangs tough, though. James Roberts in the corner. This makes it 51 to 50 Patriots. North would counter right back. One of their own. How about McNeil? Makes it 54 to 50. Let's keep this thing going, shall we? Deshaun Clark spots up for the tray. They are not going away easily, but the Patriots have a strong second half. Makai Johnson to Colin Frank. They hit their free throws in the end, and the Patriots get a win. Finally, on their home floor, 65 to 60. They'll follow more basketball coming up from the Classic. We'll see you after a quick timeout.